Hello, and welcome to a short demonstration of authentication without using passwords. We are using NoPass, short for No Passwords, from Identity. At Identity, we believe authentication should be simple and secure. Let's begin with a typical retail shopping website. I want the website to know me such that each time I return, I will not have to repeat filling out forms each time to make a purchase. I will click on the Create Account option. Notice the form is really short, such that only the necessary information is required to know who I am the next time I return. To make this easier, I can choose a social login, such as Facebook or Google. I will choose Google. Now, a lot of people have more than one Google account. I choose an account for this particular site. Now to register securely so that only I can return as this identity, I need something more secure than just a username. In this case, it will be something I have, which is my smartphone. A QR code will direct me to the App Store for the application I need to register this phone as a secure token. Now, by clicking on the option to install the application, I am one step away from completing the process for the end user to register this phone as a secure token. By opening the app and allowing the appropriate permissions, the last step of the confirmation will be complete. I type in a code on the phone to the website, click OK, and registration and authentication is complete without a password. Now, there is a number of things that I can change on my profile. For example, I may want to be known only as Bill and not my last name. So if I choose to save that option, the website will know me now as Bill. But this login or username is an email. Since you send emails every day, an email is something that someone else might know. Let's change this to something that maybe something someone doesn't know, like Bill123. By saving this option, you'll notice that in the app, we have also changed the username that was recorded. Now this is handy because users are want, will want to come back to this app maybe to look up what those usernames are for different websites. And there can be multiple sites authenticating with this particular application. Now two-factor authentication is, is good, but let's say we want to add a third factor for authentication. By going into the security settings and enabling local authentication, I now add a third factor of authentication, which is something I have. In this case, it's an iPhone 10, and the iPhone 10 uses facial recognition. Well, let's log out and let's see what that authentication process is like using three factors of authentication. So by clicking login, I simply supply my username. That's the only thing that's required of the end user. My username was Bill123. Now, the authentication process is going to display an image. And this particular image is going to refresh in the app. Now, <clears throat> As these images uh, time out, a new image is presented. The reason for the images is twofold. One, the end user can see that this is a legitimate server performing the authentication. And the server will also know that this is a registered user in their authentication system. So if I click Accept, you will see the facial recognition was performed in addition to confirming the images. 
That was three factors of authentication. Something I know, which was my username, something I have, which was the token on the phone, and something I am, which was my face, performed by facial recognition using the local device. If your device uses fingerprint, it would have defaulted to using fingerprint. Now this was performed in less time than it takes most users to log in with a password. By eliminating passwords in the registration and authentication, you will eliminate friction associated with the creation, remembering, and restoration when a user forgets their password. Without passwords, it becomes almost impossible for someone else to compromise a user's credentials. The result is a user with a much more secure and overall better experience when visiting your site or application. Now to complete the demonstration, let's say Bill no longer wants to transact with this particular site. Bill can simply remove their username. And the facial recognition was performed for the confirmation. And if we try to log back in as Bill123, you'll see that the user was removed. So this completes the demonstration of authentication without passwords using NoPass from identity. Thank you.